Today, we're counting down top 10 greatest England fast bowlers of all time. Are you ready to find out who they are? Let's get right into it. Who are we going with at number 10? Mark Wood. Express pace, clocked at 93 miles per hour in, the, in this test series versus West Indies. Aggressive fast bowler, a wicket taker. I would call him an enforcer. 37 test matches, 119 wickets, best bowling 6 for 37, an average of 30.42. Just brings an extra dimension to the English attack, raw pace and hostility. If it wasn't really for injury, and we could have really seen Mark would make more test appearance for England. English camp is managing his workload. They're using him sparingly. Mark Wood has a Emerged as one of the most exciting fast bowlers in recent English cricket. Known for his blistering pace and ability to consistently bowl above 90 miles per hour, he has brought a new dimension to this current England attack. His aggressive style and short, sharp burst make him a crucial weapon to stand out moments. Came against the West Indies in 2019, where he claimed 6 for 37, showcasing his capability to lead an attack with lethal precision. Despite struggles with injuries, Wood's impact when fit is undeniable, providing England with a cutting edge that can unsettle the best in the business so number 10 we have mark wood let's move on to number nine let's see who comes in there chris old fast medium you know typical english bowler hit the deck hard bowler a real good line and length swung it consistent and back in the late 70s early 80s one was a force to record with in english condition 46 test matches 143 wickets best of seven for 50 average of 28.11 as a youngster if you really want to really learn a trade this guy was one of the best bowlers to really copy nice beautiful approach nice delivery i really admire chris old always trouble the west indies batsman with his uh, impeccable line and lens Absolutely, man. Chris Old's cricket career in the 1970s was marked by his dual ability as a fast bowler and a capable lower order batsman. On the field, his prowess as a fast bowler was characterized by his sharp searing bouncers and a potent in-swing that often bamboozled batsmen. One of his most memorable performances was was taking 7 for 50 against Pakistan, highlighting his skill at exploiting favorable conditions and his strategic acumen in changing the course of the innings. Old's robust frame and stamina allowed him to deliver a Long spells, making him a reliable and fearsome component of England's bowling lineup. One of the greatest England fast bowlers of all time on our top 10, Chris Old. Before we move on to number eight, let's bring on our first quiz question of the evening. First quiz question, he played just nine tests for England with a decent batting average of 42.46. He was well known as a coach, having coached England as well as his county, Lancashire. Who is this popular commentator? We'll drop the answer shortly, so stay with us and let's now move on to number eight. Yeah, number eight is Andy Caddick, tall, lanky, fast bowler from Somerset. Could really demolish a team in the space of a session when he was on song. 62 test matches, 234 test wickets, best of 7 for 46, average of 29.91. Andy Caddick's um, ability to swing the ball and bowl at high pace made him a, a real competitor with the ball for England and a match winner. Yeah, man. Caddick's international career was a testament to his exceptional skill as a seam bowler. His towering height gave him a natural natural advantage, allowing him to extract extra bounce and movement off the pitch. Caddick's disciplined approach and intelligent use of the seam made him particularly lethal in English conditions. His career best figures of 7 for 46 against the West Indies showcased his ability to dismantle well-set batting lineups, making him one of the most successful bowlers in home conditions. Caddick's legacy is not just in the wickets he took, but in the moments he changed games almost single-handedly. So definitely one of the best England fast bowlers and, you know, entering our top 10 here is Andy Caddick at number eight and let us know your you know your top 10 in the comments as well we would love to know your top 10 now let's move on to number seven number seven uh, Matty Hoggard I call him one of the England king of swing and a mean outswinger good line and length accuracy always got the early breakthrough for England with the new ball 67 test matches 248 test wickets best of seven for 61 an average of 30 point five zero yeah man Hoggard a key figure in England's bowling attack during the early 2000s he was celebrating for his classical bowling with a relentless work ethic and a natural ability to move the ball both ways Hoggard was a quintessential English swing fast bowler his best performance came in Johannesburg in 2004 where he took 7 for 61 in an innings that epitomized his career skillful determined and always putting the team first beyond the field Hoggard's affable nature and resilience made him a beloved figure among teammates and fans like Matthew Hoggard comes in at number 7 for us. Now let's move on to number six. Yes, Brian Statton back in the 70s was a mean 
a fast bowler for England, basically in, in the 60s, really. He played from 1951 to 1965. Um, he was a coach, I think, in the 70s as well. 70 test matches, 252 wickets, a best of seven for 39, average of 24.89. Not a bad average for fast bowler back in those days. Remember, back in those days, there was uncovered pitches. So you have to take into consideration the elements. But he was a, a match winner. One of the early guys England had would always get the breakthrough and run through the top order for England. Consistent line and length, always picking away at the batsman. The hallmark of his early career playing for England. Brian Statham, an ICC Hall of Famer, often paired with Fred Truman, formed one of the most formidable fast bowling partnerships in cricketing history. Known for his accuracy and relentless consistency, Statham was a master at exploiting even the slightest flaw in a batsman's technique. His ability to maintain an immaculate line and length over prolonged periods made him a nightmare for batsmen, and his best figures of 7 for 37 against South Africa were a testament to his precision and his enduring stamina qualities that helped define his lengthy and successful career. I mean, back in the day, he played 70 test matches, Mark, taking 252 wickets, as you mentioned, 24 average and nine five wicket hauls. But if we get dig deeper into his first class career, as you guys can see on the screen, 559 first class matches, 2,260 wickets at an average of 16.37 and 123 five wicket hauls. That should tell you something about what this bowler was just insane numbers there mark in first class man yes that's basically unbelievable 123 five wicket hauls some very good skill sets let us know what you guys think in the comments you know of uh, brian statham's first class record where he has 2260 wickets and 123 five wicket hauls at an average of 16.37 before we move on to number five i want to answer this quiz question we brought up earlier for you guys he played just nine tests for england with a decent batting average of 42.46. He was well known as a coach, having coached England as well as his county, Lancashire. Who is this popular commentator? The answer is David Bumble Lloyd. Played just nine tests for England and scored 552 runs with a double century, 214 not out as his highest score. So yeah, I hope you guys got this right. Stay tuned for the next question coming up. Now let's move on to number five. Yeah, number five, Fred Truman, one of the great fast bowlers of English cricket. Uh, 67 test matches, 300 and seven wickets a whole of the world record back in the in the 70s for the most wickets by a fast bowler best of eight for 31 average of 21.57 look at that average 21.57 and the thing with freddie truman he had one of the best rhythmic bowling action you could really ask for as a fast bowler average of 21.57 not not much bowlers in test wicket have that type of average Fred truman you know famously the first bowler to take 300 test wickets combined raw pace with cunning movement feared and respected in equal measure truman's fiery temperament and competitive Competitive spirit were his hallmarks. His record-breaking spell of 8 for 31 against India was a master class in fast bowling, utilizing both pace and swing to devastating effect. Off the field, Truman's charismatic personality and sharp wit made him a popular figure, contributing significantly to his status as a cricketing legend. And again, we're going to look at his you know, first-class stats. Mark has already mentioned his test stats. Average of 21.57, 307 wickets at 67 matches, 17 five-wicket hauls. That first class record is even better than Brian Statham. I mean, 603 matches, 2,304 wickets, average of 18.29, and 126 five wicket hauls. Another ICC Hall of Famer, just ridiculous numbers. Back in the day, a, a bowler would get 100 wickets in a season in England. That was like the, the hallmark. Like, that was like the when you do good in English County Championship, you score 1,000 yeah. runs, or you score, or you get 100 wickets. So yeah. that was yeah. not really. So, and Back in the day, they play more county matches. Nowadays, in county, you have the, the T20, you have the 100, and you have the listing, which is the 50 overs. So, But back in the 60s, 70s, it was just county cricket. Just a um, majority of the matches were first-class matches. You know, so that's one of the reasons why in the 50s, 60s, 70s, a, a bowler of that kind of um, stature could get so much wickets in first-class cricket. Fred Truman, one of the England greatest fast bowlers, comes in at number five for us. So before you move on to number four, I want to bring you guys the next quiz question of the 
evening. You'll see it on our screen here in their county championship match against Middlesex in September 2003. What Pakistani like spinner took 10 wickets to turn a likely defeat into an improbable seven wicket victory? We'll drop the answer shortly right at the end of the video. So stay tuned and let's now move on to number four. Yes, number four, Ian Bottom, one of the greatest all around of all times. You know, had a knack for picking up wickets with a loose knot. Sometimes he comes on in his first over, Ian Bottom always get a wicket with his loosener, maybe a half volley, a wide out swing, or something that caused the batsman into making an error. One of my favorite all-rounders of all time, 102 test matches, 383 test wickets, best of 8 for 34. He demolished West Indies with that 8 for 34. I remember watching that live on TV when he got 8 for 34, um, average of 28.40. So we're not going to even mention the, the batting part of, in this video, that's for another video, but his bowling, he always tends to get wickets you know he had a, a great out swinger you know he mixed it up his pace a lot he was one of the first bowlers to really mix up his his, his pace and line and lens and try all different kind of store delivery wide delivery all that back in his day he had a, a lot in his repertoire Sir Ian Botham you know another ICC Hall of Famer remains one of the most iconic all-rounders in cricket history and his contributions you know with a bat with a ball were as impactful as his exploits with a bat his ability to produce match winning spells was unmatched as evidence by his 8 for 34 against Pakistan where his single-handedly turned the game on its head his aggressive bowling style combined with a natural flair for the drama made him a key figure in some of England's most memorable cricketing moments Ian Botham comes in at number four in this list for us now let's move on to number three yeah number three Bob Willis one of the English great fast bowlers well always running had a lot of energy you know always give 125 percent it doesn't matter if the pitch was dead or had some life Bob with this with all his hustle up and amber up to run up to the wicket and give his best. I remember his test best, 8 for 43 versus Australia. Australia only needed, I think, 102 or something like runs to, to win. And this man, they were going to drop him for that test match, for the next test match. And he just run in like a man possessed and he grabbed eight wickets. 325 test wickets, best of 8 for 43, average of 25.20. Uh, Bob Willis, one of English, England greatest fast bowler. This distinctive long run up and fierce pace. He was a sight to behold on the cricket field. His most celebrated performance, 8 for 43 in the 1981 Ashes at Headingley, is etched into the cricketing folklore, a spell that epitomized his fighting spirit and determination. Willis's ability to generate high speed and bounce made him one of England's most potent weapons, and his legacy as a fast bowler is marked by his sheer will to compete against the odds. One of the greatest England fast bowlers of all time, Bob Willis, comes in at number three for us now let's move on to number two Stuart Broad one of the greatest of all times English fast bowlers I mean this man played 167 test matches 604 test wickets average of average of 27.68 best of 8 for 15 during Stuart Broad he lost his career he had the ability to turn a test match with, with, with a spell many and many occasions I, I saw him just wreck the opposition with a, with a six wicket burst a five wicket burst you know anytime he was on a roll he, he was just unplayable and unstoppable Stuart Broad has carved out a reputation as a game changer with the ability to produce spells that can alter the course of a match within a few deliveries his remarkable 8 for 15 against Australia in 2015 highlighted his skill at seam and swing as well as his psychological edge over batsmen. Broad's height allows him to generate disconcerting bounce making him a constant threat in all conditions. He's one of the greatest England fast bowlers. Stuart Broad comes in at number two for us. Now before we move on to number one we're going to, get, we're going to give you guys the answer to that quiz question we brought up earlier. The quiz question was in their county championship match against Middlesex in September 2003 what Pakistani like spin bowler took 10 wickets to turn a likely defeat into an improbable seven vic wicket victory? The answer is Mushtaq Ahmed. Ahmed has become the first bowler this century. Last time was Andy Caddick and Courtney Walsh to take 100 first class wickets. So Mushtaq Ahmed, you know, was the answer there. Hope you guys got this right. And make sure to check out our links in the description of the Reverse Scoop shop where we support youth cricket development on the grassroots level, as well as if you want to create content content like this. I've put out some links in the description for you guys that you guys can get some credit on your accounts 
when signing up through those links. So definitely check those out. For number one, we're going to be, again, giving you guys the details of the player and drop the answer right at the end. So we're going to play that guessing game again with you guys. So drop your guesses into the comments. Let's see who comes in at number one. Yes, his average is 26.45. Best of 7 for 42. 704 test wickets. 188 test matches. He just retired from cricket during the English summer versus the West Indies. England's all-time leading wicket taker, but also the most prolific fast bowler in the history of cricket. Known for his mastery over swing bowling, he demonstrated time and again his ability to adapt and excel across the globe. His nuanced understanding of different pitches and conditions allowed him to maintain his performance level well late into his 30s, and his legacy is defined by his longevity, his skill, and the high regard in which he is held by peers and pundits alike. Like, who is this greatest English fast bowler of all time, man? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Anderson. Jimmy Anderson is the answer. If you haven't checked out our top 20 England batsmen of all time video, you'll find it on the screen right here.